Okay, so we are in line 10, our next stanza. Um, they have closed up their fat hearts with their mouths. They speak proudly. They have now surrounded us in our steps. They have set their eyes crouching down to the earth. That's 11, 12, like a lion that is eager to tear his prey and as a young lion lurking in secret places. All right. So now in that stanza, he's he's given God uh, some imagery on what's going on. God sees what they're doing, but this is how he's explaining it to God: how the wicked who is who are oppressing him and the uh, his deadly enemies who surround him. He said they have closed up their fat hearts, and sometimes when when we upset about something, we call people names. It's not. <laughs> Uh, but let's not do that. All right. But he's telling, he's saying with your fat hearts, with their fat hearts. All right. And with their mouths, they speak proudly. All right. And then, and, and I think it's more, it's not necessarily calling somebody fat, fat, but it's more so that, um, more like proudness, like they've been so proud and arrogant, you know, that's what he's, he's, uh, referring to not like in weight fat all right but i think it's more or less like being arrogant um proud so i think that's what it is because then he's saying with their mouths they speak proudly so their hearts are proud and their mouths are proud they have now surrounded us in our steps so now they're going remember he's on that road that god is leading him all right and then so now it's like they surrounded us in our steps they have set their eyes crouching down to the earth. So it's almost like uh, like an animal. You know, like looking at them like this. And you, you've, seen, you've seen how people do that in real life and even in movies. You know, it's like they do like this and, and try to, you know, it's almost like they're getting ready to, you know, attack you. All right? Almost like a prey. Um, so like a lion that is eager to tear his prey and as a young lion lurking in secret and as a young lion lurking in secret places and that, and that's how the wicked do. They don't come at you head on. They come at you, um, crouching and sneaking and stuff like that because they just cowards. They're cowards. I mean, even scripture tells us that, uh, Satan, uh, uh, goes around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour like a roaring lion he's not a lion he's like a uh, lion all right so he just you know I heard one preacher say Satan is like a mouse with a meg megaphone and that's all then that's all your enemies are in comparison to God they're just a mouse with a, a mouse with a megaphone 13 arise O Lord confront him cast him down Deliver my life from the wicked with your sword, with your, 14, with your hand from men, O Lord, from men of the world who have their portion in this life, and whose belly you, you fill with your hidden treasure. They are satisfied with children, and leave the rest of their substance for their babes. So, arise, O Lord, confront him, cast him down, Deliver my life from the wicked with your sword. All right. And then so with your sword, what, what sword he's talking about? Give you the word of God. All right. Cut as a what? A two-edged sword. Piercing um, or into the, like the, the joints and the marrow. Okay. So then it says, with your hand from men, O Lord, from men of the world who have their portion in this life, and whose belly you fill with hidden treasure. They are satisfied with children and leave the rest of their substance for their babes. And 15, as for me, I will see your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I wake in your likeness. And so it gives a reference scripture to 1 John 3, 2. That says, Beloved, now we are children of God, and it was not yet been in 
Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Amen. So as for me, in, in 15, going back to Psalm 15, 17, 15, as for me, I will see your face in righteousness. So we continue to do what we need to do, um, living righteously. We're going to see God's face. And he's saying, I shall be satisfied when I wake in your likeness. And he gives some um, more uh, reference scriptures, Psalm 4, 6, and 7, which we covered already in our series, but I'll read it again, 4, 6, and 7. There are many who say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart more than in this season that their grain and wine increased. And also... 16 and 11 that we read um, in our last section section that we did 16 11 you will show me the path of life in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore All right and our last one is Isaiah 26 19 That says, your dead shall live, together with my dead body they shall rise. Awake and sing, you who dwell in dust. For your dew is like the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Alright, so, when we die in the Lord, alright, we will be able to, um, what, live again. And then uh, we continue on that road of righteousness. We'll be able to see God as he truly is. As he truly is. So that's uh, Psalm 17. We, we'll, we'll, I'll probably go ahead and start um, Psalm 18 right after this. And so, but anyway, keep the faith, keep the focus. I love you and God bless you.